Hello and thank you for joining me for this tutorial. Today we're going to take a look at storing plans. So this is assuming that you've created a plan and you'd like to keep it. I'm going to go to active plans and dynamic plans. So here's where we can create um, and edit, retrieve um, all sorts of different unit plans and these are the ones that are currently being used by Make My Day Plan to generate your day plans. And so you can see here it's week 13 um, for English and this is what we have in store. Now I've got an extra menu, extra menu bar here. Um, I can add content from the stored plans but let's just have a look at storing the plan. Done that hard hey <laughs> we can store as many subjects as we like um, in the stored plans so we've done English Christian studies and integrated studies as well if I tap on done up here now go into the stored plans first up I've got my lesson plans and then here's my unit plans so my unit plans are those three that I just added you may have noticed that Christian studies had um, only one subject per week, whereas here it's all been um, condensed. So it's got rid of any of the blank lessons um, and just given me um, the actual lessons. So I've got each of these in here. So they're saved and they can be re-added back to um, my active plans. So if I'm in my dynamic plans, and I add a new subject. So I'm going to call this New Christian Studies. Boom. It's got nothing in it. I go to Add Content. And now I can actually bring in, so I've got Christian Studies, because that's my stored plan. Come here, select Dates. My first lesson will be Let's do week one Friday, and then we're just going to teach this on Fridays, and insert the plan. So you can see as we scroll through, it's got something on each of the Fridays right through. We do have some things in there that we don't want. So if you have a look through, there's the PD, public holidays, and so on and so forth. So we can get rid of those as well as make better use of our screen real estate by doing the following two things. The first step is just switching off the days that we don't teach the subject. So Friday is the only one that's on and now it all goes on to um, the same page. So we've got five lessons to the one page instead of one. Much more efficient. Now if I go here to delete lesson, I can get rid of these days that are no longer relevant. Delete. So in my case, I want to move the lessons up. And I can just keep on doing that. So there you have it. That's how you can use the store plan as well as add content. I hope it's been helpful. Have a great day. Bye for now.